Good afternoon to you viewers and subscribers and welcome to another video. In this week's video, I am going to take you through the tutorial of how to calculate specific gravity for coarse aggregate. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now, the specific gravity for your ag aggregates whether it be coarse or fine, is a very important test to carry out at the concrete plant. Because the specific gravity determines the strength and durability of your concrete. And it also, also determines the strength of your aggregate. Now, how you calculate this specific gravity is you have to know the porosity of your aggregates. And the porosity simply means the rate of water absorption into your aggregates. Therefore, if your aggregate has a high porosity, that means your aggregate is weak and hence not suitable for your concrete mix. Because what that does is that it is going to absorb a lot of water and that means it has too much cavity and hence the density of that aggregate is going to be low. If the porosity of your aggregate is low, it means that your aggregate is stronger because the rate of absorption of water into your aggregate is going to be less and hence that, it, that tells you that your aggregate is strong. So there's two, way, two ways how you can calculate the specific gravity for your coarse aggregate. You can do it by, the, by, by going through the log procedure or you can do it through basic calculation. So let's go into what takes place at the lab to determine the specific gravity. Now, while at the plant, you can take a sample of 60 pounds of coarse aggregate. Now, you will place that 60 pounds of coarse aggregate in a mechanical splitter. So you split the 60 pounds of coarse aggregate into and you have 30 pound in each splitter. Then after you split your aggregate to 30 pounds, you then place that 30 pounds of aggregate into a container of water and you wash the aggregate clean. You pour the water in, you wash the aggregate, you throw off the water, you wash again until that water is perfectly clean. Then after that is established, you drain the water from the coarse aggregate and then you place, you place that aggregate in an oven to dry for 24 hours at 105 degrees Celsius or 221 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, upon removing the aggregate from the oven after the 24 hours has passed, you allow the aggregate to cool for 30 to 45 minutes because you do not want to weigh the aggregate while it is hot because whenever you heat material or any substance, it's going to increase in, the, in volumes and it's going to affect your weight. So you, you, you wait until the aggregate is cooled to about room temperature, then you proceed in weight. So one, one, once you get that aggregate to cool for half an hour, then you place the aggregate in a bucket of water to soak for 30 minutes. So for example, this is a bucket of water. Thus, you know, this is, this is a re representation of a bucket of water. And here we have the aggregate. So we place the aggregate in the water to soak for about half an hour. Now, after that is completed, 
right? We remove the aggregate from the bucket and dry with towel. So I will just demonstrate to you again. So I'm going to move the aggregate from the bucket of water now and place in a towel and place in a towel. So now I'm going to dry the surface water from the aggregates to obtain the aggregates at saturated surface dry. So as I've mentioned to you before, the saturated surface dry of the aggregates, it just simply means that no water is on the surface of the aggregates, but the water that is absorbed into the aggregate. So you wipe the water clean, of the, you wipe the aggregates clean from and ensure that all the surface moisture is removed and the only water that is present in the aggregates is just the water that is absorbed into the pores of the aggregate and that is saturated surface dry. Therefore, when you obtain the aggregate at saturated surface dry, you weigh that aggregates and you record the weight. So you're going to weigh these aggregates, you're going to weigh them, and you're going to record the weight. So let's say, let's say for argument's sake that the, the weight of the, of the aggregates at saturated surface dry comes down to 29.98 pounds. It was initially 30 pounds, but after it has, you have soaked, soak and dry it, it comes down to 28, 29.98 pounds. So you, you place, after you have done that, you have your record the weight of the saturated surface dry. You place the aggregates and saturated surface dry in a bucket, in a bucket of water, and you, and you submerge it below water. You put the aggregate in a bucket, so this is rep a representation again of a bucket of water and you're going to place this in another bucket of water with a scale and you're going to weigh the aggregates into that water so that water represents the weight of submerged aggregates so let's say for argument's sake that comes out to be 28.51 pounds i'm just using these figures based on a calculation from one of my experiments because i used to work as a materials inspector in my previous position. So my estimation is that when you place the aggregates in the bucket of water and submerge it in another big bucket, right, the water is going to reduce by somewhere around 37%. So that is why it dropped down from 29.98 to 18.51. So after you have done that, you recall the weight, you, you recall the water, and then recall the weight of, 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 of the aggregate in underwater, which comes out to 18.51. Then you, you remove the aggregate from out of that water, and you place the aggregate in the oven for a second time, and you allow it to dry for 24 hours. At 105 degrees Celsius or 221 degrees Fahrenheit, you allow it to cool again. And upon when that 24 hours has expired, you remove it from the oven and you allow it to dry again. And you record the you allow it to dry, allow it, allow it to dry and allow it to cool. Sorry, allow it to cool. And then when it is cool, you wait, you wait again, and you get your you record your oven dry weight. So you record your, your saturated surface dry weight of your aggregate. You record the weight of, of submerged aggregate into the basket of water. And then you record your oven dry weight. So these are all the weights, 29.98 pounds, 18.51 pounds, and 29.72 pounds. Now you can calculate three different specific gravity. You can calculate the bulk specific gravity which is equal to the weight of oven dry over the weight of saturated surface dry 
minus the weights of submerged, you can calculate the bulk specific gravity at saturated surface drive, which is equivalent to the weight of the weight of aggregates at saturated surface drive over the weight of saturated surface drive minus the weight of submerged aggregate underwater. You can now calculate the apparent or the you know the real specific gravity, which is going to equal to the weight of oven dry over the weight of oven dry minus the weight of aggregate that is submerged. Now I'm going to give you a calculation of the results and let's see what our specific gravity works out to be. So So, from the weight of saturated surface dry, 29.98 pounds, and the weight of submerged, 18.51 pounds, and the weight of oven dry, 29.72 pounds, and the, so we can now calculate our bulk saturated, our bulk specific gravity, so our bulk specific gravity is going to equal to weight of oven of oven drive, which is going to be 29.72 over the weight of saturated surface drive, which is going to be 29.98 minus the weight of submerged is going to be 29.72 and that works out to be that works out to be 29.98 minus 29.72 so 0 0.26 so is 29.72 divided by 0.26 so that is going to equal to 114 right and specific gravity carries no unit weight always remember that specific gravity carries no unit weight so it's just a raw number so we can calculate our bulk our bulk yeah we can calculate our bulk specific gravity at at, at SSD, so the at, so so the weight SSD is going to be twenty nine point nine eight minus, and this is going to be over the weight at SSD, which is twenty nine point nine eight minus to the weight of the aggregate submerged, which is going to be eighteen. 0.51 and that works out to be 29.98 minus so it's going to be um 29.98 divided by 11.47 and that's going to equal to Twenty nine point nine eight divided by eleven point four seven two point six one. Right? So we're gonna calculate so so our bulk specific gravity is one hundred and fourteen and our bulk specific gravity at saturated surface drive is two point six one and now we're gonna calculate our apparent specific gravity or the real specific gravity so that is going to work out to be the weight of oven dry which is 29.72 so this is going to be 29.72 over over the weight of oven dry again so it's going to be 29.72 
minus the weight of what a weight of aggregate submerged is going to be 18.51 right so the equip that is going to be equivalent to 29.72 minus 18.51 right 11.21 so it's going to be 29.72 divided by 11.21 and that's going to be equal to 2.65 so there you have it so the specific gravity for your coarse aggregate is going to equal to 2.65 so that is the lab method so I'm now going to take you through the calculation without going through the lab calculation so if you look at it now the density of your course aggregate ranges between 2400 to 2900 kilograms per meter cube right or 150 to 181 pounds per cubic feet and remember previously i have alerted you that the density of water is a thousand kilograms per meter cube or 62.4 pounds per cubic feet so we're going to work out the specific gravity for our course aggregate and we should come back to 2.65 now the specific gravity the formula for specific gravity is the density of the of your substance over the density of water or the weight of substance over the weight of water so we're going to use this top formula here by the density since we know the density of coarse aggregates and we know the weight of water so it ranges from 2400 to 2900 so what we want to do is find the average between 2400 and 2900 kilograms per meter cube so this is going to be 2400 plus 2000 900 and we divide that by 2 to get an average so that works out to be 2400 plus 2900 and we're going to divide that by 2 so we are getting 2000 2650 kilograms per meter cube right 2650 kilograms per meter cube so now we can find the specific gravity of the course aggregate so specific gravity is going to equal to 2650 kilograms per meter cube right divided by 1000 kilograms per meter cube so we have kilograms per meter cube cancels kilograms per meter cube and we move these three places of decimal since we're divided by a thousand so your our specific gravity works out to be 2.65 so as you can see we still ended up with our specific gravity to be 2.65 on both occasions there's an alternate way as i've mentioned to you before you can calculate the specific gravity in kilograms per meter cube and you can also calculate your specific gravity using pounds per cubic feet so the specific gravity in pounds per cubic feet 
is 150 to 181 pounds per cubic feet. So you strike an average between 150 pounds to 181 pounds. You divide that by two and you get an average of that. So it is going to be 150 plus 181 and divide that by two, which is going to work out to be 165.5 pounds per feet cube. So your specific gravity is going to be 165.5 pounds per feet cube divided by the weight, the weight of water in pounds per cubic feet. So that is 62.4 pounds per cubic feet. Pounds per cubic feet, cancel pounds per cubic feet. And you divide 165.5 by 62.4. So that again works out to be 2.65 for your, your specific gravity. 2.65 for your specific gravity. And that is in the range for the specific gravity for your coarse aggregate. So this is a very important test that is being carried out at the concrete plant because without doing the specific gravity, you're not going to be able to determine if your aggregate is strong enough and if your aggregate is suitable for your concrete mix. So that is it for this video. If you like the video, make sure to leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe if you're watching the video or my videos for the first time. And I will see you in another video upload.